Hey everybody, it's Catherine Middlebrooks of BRB Yoga. I wanted to talk about something that really has the potential to change a lot about the way you practice yoga, the way you um, are working on core rehabilitation, and even the way you are seeking to find relaxation. Um, and so what I'm gonna talk about is deep breathing, which I talk about a lot, but this today is going to be a little bit more nuanced, a little bit more subtle, uh, because I had this epiphany yesterday in my own practice of, it was like this aha of, oh, this is how the breath is supposed to be to really allow the body to do exactly what it needs to do. All right, so first things first, why do we talk about the breath so much? Well, the breath, obviously, it's very important uh, for our body, but it's also extremely important for the proper functioning of your core. I talk about this all the time, but the diaphragm is related to the pelvic floor and the muscles of the abdominals. When you inhale, the diaphragm drops down, the pelvic floor relaxes, the belly muscles relax and expand. When you exhale, the diaphragm lifts, the pelvic floor lifts and tones, the core muscles engage and come together slightly. So I always talk about the importance of breathing for your core health. If you've had a baby, if you have abdominal separation, if you just have a weak pelvic floor, weak core, starting a deep breathing practice that really works to get the diaphragm moving uh, can do wonders for the strength of your core and your pelvic floor. That being said, uh, a lot of people end up breathing wrong after they have babies. So what do we want? 360 degree expansion of the ribs is what we want. A lot of times people will breathe into the belly. That is not good for your long-term core health because it creates um, laxity in those abdominal muscles. Those muscles stay weak, they can't engage properly. When people have really tight rib cages, which often happens in postpartum women, they will either go straight into their belly, as I mentioned, or they will use their secondary breathing muscles, which are these neck and shoulder muscles, and they'll breathe like this. Right, not that, not that extreme, but they will breathe up and down with their shoulders. And that is not good. It doesn't help the core. It's not good for the diaphragm. That's not good. And it creates a lot of stress response in the body. So we're going for this 360 degree rib expansion. We want it to be really deep. It's hard though. That's kind of been my experience. And it's been the experience of my students that it's hard to get that breathing. And as I said, yesterday I had this aha of like, oh, that's why it's hard. So here is what I want you to play with. If you're one of my students, you should totally get this. Um, if you're not one of my students, still play along. So here is what I see happening both in myself and in my students when I ask them to breathe deeply into their ribs. Here's what I hear. Okay, and I'm exaggerating it a little bit, but you can see I inhale deeply. There's this pause at the top of the inhale, and then it comes down. And there's also this sense that I am really forcing the breath. Okay, so here's where this very subtle distinction comes in. The breath. The breath is this amazing physiological process. It can be both uh, completely unconscious and conscious, right? If you're not thinking about it, your body's still breathing. But if you start thinking about it, you can hold your breath, you can change the pace of your breath, you can take over control of your breathing. And what I think has been happening is that often when we say, okay, start breathing deeply, we switch completely from this more unconscious, natural breath to a very forced breath. We, our brains, take control over the entirety of the breathing process. I hope you're tracking with me. I know this is good. It's a little, like I said, subtle. Okay, what if we worked instead with this more unconscious natural rhythm and just worked to allow that to happen at a deeper level? So that's what I want you to play with this shift. So instead of saying, okay, it's time to breathe deep. Here I go, I'm gonna inhale. I'm gonna exhale, right? No, 
What I want you to do is like sit quiet, tune in without changing anything. Just notice the natural flow of your breath. Right? It's probably not deep. It's probably shallow as you sit there and just notice. And now I want you to keep some of that natural flow, but add in a little bit more of allowing the depth to happen, right? So you're in this natural rhythm. And now you just start allowing it to deepen by relaxing the body, right? So then it go, becomes more like this. And your, my ribs just start naturally moving when I tap into that flow of the breath that's already happening rather than trying to like hijack my breathing and say, okay, now it's time to breathe deeply. No, pay attention to how you're already breathing. And then instead of forcing the body to breathe deep, allow relaxation in that then allows that breath to deepen naturally, right? You're working with already that natural process of the breath. Okay, does that make sense? Play with it. See if you feel that difference. To me, it changes everything. Okay, so that's the one thing, forcing versus allowing, uh, and kind of really tapping into the natural rhythm of the breath rather than hijacking the breath. <laughs> All right, so that's the first part. And then the second part is, um, in, okay, so I, the, when I first demonstrated this breath, I took a deep breath in. I can't even do it now. <laughs> I'm like, no, I have to exhale first. All right, breathe in. And then it's that pause at the top, breathe out. That's what I see a lot of people doing. I'm very guilty of that as well. What if, instead of it being this sort of staccato, is that a word? Staccato breathing where it's like, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. What if instead we made it cyclical? So instead of it being, I'm inhaling, I'm exhaling, I'm inhaling, I'm exhaling. Instead, it is that that inhale naturally flows right into the exhale. And it is this circle that's moving through you then, right? The inhale comes in, the exhale goes out. And as soon as you get to the bottom of that inhale, or the top of that inhale, it just naturally flows into the exhale. So you're not having these places where you're holding the breath before you breathe it out. It's just, it, it goes along with that allowing. Because if you just start paying attention when you're not consciously changing your breath, that's the way you're breathing. It's this psych cyclical thing. Uh, so again, tap into that and go with the rhythm. So again, just close your eyes. Before you shift anything, notice how are you breathing right now? And now as we deepen it, don't hijack the breath. Tap into that flow, that rhythm that is already there let the muscles of the abdomen relax to allow that breath to deepen. And then start thinking about that cycle. So that you inhale and it just falls right into the exhale. And the exhale finishes right into the inhale. So there is such a qualitative change that happens from those two shifts, right? Instead of deep breathing being this thing that you are doing in your body, it is that you are instead allowing the body to breathe itself, basically. Like you're not doing the work. Your mind doesn't need to do the work. I think that's what, that's the whole point of this. We don't have to feel like I am breathing deeply. I'm controlling this breath. No, let yourself get quiet, tap into the natural rhythm of the breath, and then just let it naturally expand. And doing that is really going to help you find that rib expansion, 
It's gonna really help you find this ease in the breath and it's going to make that breath feel so much more relaxing than when you're trying to force it. 